Hello, good evening. Hello. Hi, Ana Beatriz. Good, good evening. evening, teaching. Hola, Hello. ¿qué tal? Ah, very well. How are you? Fine. And you? Oh, oh, I'm very well. Thank you for, for asking. Just ready for a new class. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Hi, Galileo. Good evening. Good, Good evening. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. How are you? Nice. Nice. Gracias Good. A Dios. Thanks, yeah. oh, nice. Ready for a new class. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. <clears throat> it's great to see you. It's great to see you very early today. I'm sorry, teacher. No, it's okay. I know you were working. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, what about your day, teacher? It was really good. Hi, teacher. Uh, hello, Dinora. How are you? Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Okay. It was good, Galileo. So I worked in the morning. I did some personal things in the afternoon, so it was a good day. I rested, so I can't complain. Do you, do you work in another company or just teacher English? Uh, yes, I work in different places, but teaching English. <laughs> yes, okay. the same. It's my, it's my expertise. It's what I love. But you have, uh, do you have eight... Uh, work hours? No, no, actually, uh, since I work at a public school, I only work from 7 to 12. Yes, I, because I work in a public school, right? Uh, and at night, I work with Inglés Corporativo, this casual. And on Saturdays, I work with uh, a university. Great. What do yes. you, you study? Um, actually, I started here in San Miguel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I, I, I don't wanna. Uh, I don't have a good internet. Repeat, oh, oh. please. I started at San Miguel. San Miguel. San Miguel. That's right. San Miguel. Wow. To, to be specific, I started at Universidad de Oriente, Univo. Uh, do, you, yes. do, do you live in San Miguel? I, I live in San Miguel like three years ago, but now in the present, I live in Morazan. Morazan? Yes, I live in Morazan. That's right. Wow. I actually, I live near Perkin. Do you know Perkin? No, I don't know. Actually, yes. Morazan, I think Morazan is. If we speak about the town, Morazan is eh, es el único lugar que no conozco de El Salvador. Oh, Salvador, really? Menos de la ciudad. You have, you have, you have to come to Morazan. Morazan is. Okay, casi uh, nadie conoce Morazan aquí. ¿Cómo, Frida? Casi nadie conoce Morazan aquí. Yes, you sí. have to come. You have to come to Morazan. Morazan is like a. It's characterized to be very mountainous, a lot of mountains. Yes, and is the, the, the climate is very nice. The, it's a little cold and there are many mountains, pine trees, bastante finos, a lot of pine trees. Yes, so it's, it's beautiful. Uh, someday, yes. go there. <laughs> If you come to Morazan, you will be in love with Morazan, I'm sure. <laughs> I, I I'm sure so. Yeah. All right. So let's travel the four hours. Sorry. Five hours. Yeah. You want to travel the 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 five the four or five hours? Yes. Where do you live, Arnulfo? I live in San Salvador. Yes. It's basically. I know. I know, I know every every piece in the in, in the country. Oh, nice. I like it. Actually, if you want to come to Morazan from San Salvador, it's like 
let's say like two yeah. hours and 30 minutes, two hours and 30 minutes from Morazan to, from San Salvador to San Miguel, it depends on traffic. And from, from San Miguel to Berkin is like one hour and a half. So it's basically like three hours and 30 minutes or four, four hours. <laughs> we, need to, we need to make a tour. <laughs> a trip. Definitely. That, let me know, please, when you come. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let me pass you the attendance quick. So, Alejandro Antonio. Ana Abigail. Ana Beatriz. Present. Christian. Ember. Ember. Frida. I'm here. Okay, I was with Frida, right? Yes, let me see. Amber, I said Frida. I'm here, teacher. Okay, and uh, Jacqueline is said Juan Carlos Alas, he's present, I guess. Okay, let's see Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos Rivas, not yet. Okay, Carla Yanet, no, right? Loida Unice. Hi, Unice. I'm here, teacher. Okay, perfect. Maria Elena. I'm here. Oh, great. Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio, not connected yet. Nelson Gabarrete. Connected yet. Omar Francisco. Present. Okay, perfect. Omar, uh, Oscar Arnulfo, perdón, sorry. Present. Okay, uh, Oscar Ernesto. <coughs> Not connected yet, Rocio. I'm here, teacher. I'm driving, but I'm here. Okay, perfect. The most important is that you're listening here. Okay, Jacqueline Gloria. Present. Okay. Jocelyn Joanna. <clears throat> Yesenia Marisol. I am here, teacher. Oh my God, Yesenia, it's good to hear from you. Sí. It's good to see you. <laughs> es bueno verte. Sí, igual, la me hacía falta, pero qué gusto saludarle de nuevo. Likewise, lo <laughs> mismo. Con mucho trabajo, yo. teacher, con mucho trabajo. Yes. <laughs> ya me imagino, ahí imagen. Okay, sí. let's see. Jose Galileo. Present teacher. And finally, Dinora Alejandra. Present teacher. Who is connected, of course. Okay, okay so. Good uh, evening. Hello, good evening. Who's saying good evening there? Uh, Ember. <laughs> I'm Ember. Here. Okay, let me put the attendance here. Alguien que ha llegado un poquito tarde? Somebody who got a little late? Somebody else who got a little late? No, nobody? Okay. Well, let's let's carry on that. So, uh, everyone. So, welcome to this class. Welcome to this uh, first day of the week, Monday, right? And of course, for today, as always, we have like different activities for this class. But before we go to today's content, before we go uh, to today's activities, uh, let's just remember a little bit okay let's just remember a little bit uh, last week we studied different contents right or different topics yes so uh, what do you remember about last week what do you remember about last week's classes tell me what you remember infinitive ah uh, we Exactly, we studied infinitives to make or to write missions and visions, right? For example, our mission is to be the best company in El Salvador. Uh, our vision is to become, right, to become infinitives, to be, to become, uh, to promote, to provide. Yes, we studied infinitives. What else? Come on. Maria, you were saying? Positive boys. We studied the passive voice. Okay. We, exactly. We studied the passive voice, okay? And 
Can you can you can you tell me something? Can you tell me something about the passive voice? Can you tell me something about the passive voice? What do you remember about the passive voice? Remember uh, the structure is subject uh, is or are and verb part or past. Verb in past participle, exactly, and a complement, right? Yes. And now, what is more important in the in the passive sentences? The action of the sentence or the doer of the sentence? The doer of the sentence. Listen to the question again. What is more important? The action or the doer? I'm sorry, the action. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> exactly. It's the action of the sentence, all right? So imagine, I, I just took, this is just to remember the classes, right? Uh, the last week's classes. Imagine I say, just imagine I say, um, I will use this, okay? This is my blue pen, okay? My blue pen, yes? I say uh, pens, for example, pens are created, pens are created in big quantities. Pens are created in big quantities, okay? Los lapiceros son creados en grandes cantidades. Pens are created in big quantities, okay? What is the most important? In the created. sentence? Ah, that's right, that the pens are created. Uh, is it important uh, the person who creates the pens? No. No, no. All right? No, the, the, the person or the one or the company who creates the pens is not important. What is the most important? The most important is that the pens are created. That's the most important. So the most important in a passive sentence is the action, okay? The action that things are created, yeah? Do you remember another example? Do you remember another example in the passive voice? Can you share, please? Pueden compartir? Yes. Yes. The, the IT team uh, fixes the computer in the company. Okay, but that's active. Now change and say the computers, change the order. Change the order, cambiemos el orden. The computers are, and you say the computer. The computer are fixes, fixed. 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 By, by, the, by the IT team. Exactly. The the computers are fixed by the IT team. What is important? That the computers are fixed. Who fixes the computers? I don't care. The most important is that the computers are fixed. Okay, que las computadoras son reparadas. That's the most important here. Yes, so the most important is the action, yes? For example, you can say um, milk, okay, song or song milk. Song milk is uh, made by Nestle, for example. Some milk is made by Nestle. Alguna leche es hecha por Nestlé. Some milk is made by Nestle. What is important? Ah, the milk that is made. La leche que es elaborada, the milk that is made. Nestle creates the milk, but that's not important. The most important is the milk being made, okay? Yeah? Okay, so uh, do you have another example? Tienen otro ejemplo? Do you have another example? No? You have, you have some examples, I know. On your notes, you have some examples. So do you have more examples or there are no more examples? No more yeah. examples? Oh, okay. Who said, yeah? The Frida. employees have a meeting. Repeat it, please, Frida. The employees have a meeting. The employees have a meeting. Okay. Um, <laughs> is the example, okay, everybody, is the example in the passive voice? Remember that in the passive voice, we need the verb to be is or are and a verb in past participle, I said, right? Yes?
So do yes. you have any other example? Uh, Frida, maybe you can restructure your example. Who has one example? Nobody? Okay, using the verb know, know, known. Do you, do you remember known, conocida, o conocido? Maria? Maybe the house will be, will be cleaner. Um, um, Sunday. Repeat it, please. The house will cleaner um, by Sunday. By okay. Sunday. Yes, maybe in this case is is in past, right? It's in past. Maybe in this case you need to say the has the house was begun the last Sunday. Was begun fue empezada. That's what you mean, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, the house yes. was begun. Here we need to use the verb in past, okay? Good. So anyone else? Using the verb known. Known is conocida or reconocido. We say, right? Known. The company is, okay, let me help you. The company is, the company, oh my God, I'm venido bien frío, so what The company is a rating, okay. a rating at five miles, the company, the customer service. Repeat it, please, Frida. Uh, the company is, El ejemplo que puedo usar ya, written. Ajá, uh, uh -huh. written, ¿no? What do you mean by writing? Um, the, the best. Ah, uh, rated, rated, rated. rated. Okay, okay re yeah, it's okay. Repeat it, please. The company is uh, writing the best, uh, the more, the two more best. Okay, okay, the company is rated uh like the best or one of the best maybe you can say okay as one of the best companies okay yeah it's okay it's okay Frida. that's the idea it's perfect good so anybody else okay let me give you one example then the company is known do you remember this example the company is known for the quality of its products, for example, the company is known uh, by the quality of its products. Yes, the company is known. Okay, very good. But this is just to remember, we started these topics and I think you need to practice more. Okay, now, what do you remember or what, which values do you remember? Which values do you remember? We studied values, right, Galileo? Responsibility. Responsibility. Uh, loyalty. Okay, only that. Loyalty. Uh, let's see, uh, Dinora. Which value do you remember? Responsibility, loyalty. Punctuality. Punctuality. Okay, thank you. Uh, Nelson, Efficiency. which value do you remember? Nelson Gavarrete, do you remember any value? Or Oscar Anulfo, do you remember any value? Leadership. 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 Oh, only one. Only one. What about you, uh, Ana Beatriz? Do you remember any value? Efficiency. Sorry? Efficiency. Efficiency. Exactly. Efficiency. 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 Omar Francisco, do you remember any value? They say responsibility, efficiency. So, Omar, do you remember one value? Honesty. Honesty, exactly. You remember honesty, excellent. Ember, do you remember any value? Respect. Respect, you say respect, okay, respect, okay. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see, um, Nelson, I said, Nelson, do you remember uh, any value? Mr. Nelson Gavarrete, do you remember any value? <inaudible> I think he has problems with the audio. Okay, 
So um, very good. So uh, now the, the idea is just to remember a little bit and to, to review the last classes, okay? La idea, la idea es como refrescar lo que hemos estudiado, okay? Now let's see. Um, question for anybody, like in general. Questions in general. What is the difference between personal and personnel? What is repeating personal, the question? Personal, yes. Personal is uh, something that is important to me. Yes. And personnel is for people in a company. That's right. So personnel are the employees or the workers of a company. And personnel is something that belongs to me. For example, I have a personal problem, personal problem. First, you say personal, you don't say personal, right? Yes. Um, or oh, I was saying um, that my boss, my boss has a personal assistant, personal assistant that belongs to him, right? And, and personnel are the employees of a company, like you, for example, you are the personnel of your company. You are the personnel of your company, okay? Yeah, good. So thank you very much. Now let's see. We studied organization charts. Organization charts. Now the question is, try to remember organization charts. Who is on the top? Who is on the top of, a, of an organization chart? Who is on the top in an organization chart? <clears throat> Uh, general man manager. Exactly. We can have the general manager or or CEO. CEO. The CEO. Exactly. The CEO. The chief executive officer. The CEO or the president of the company. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, uh, what other uh, or which other positions can we have in the um, in the organization chart? Operative manager. Operat okay, cooperative manager or operative manager. What else? Um, auditor. The auditor. A, a financial department. The, ah, we can have the financial department. Exactly. What else? Come on. Maintenance manager. Ma okay, the maintenance, the managers. What else? The quality. The department, the quality. Can you repeat it, please, Ana Beatriz? I don't get you. Uh, department, the quality. Oh, exactly. The quality department. Okay, you say the quality department. What else? Human resources. Sorry? The human research. Ah, the human resources. Okay, the human resources team or department. Excellent. What else? The development. Development department, development department, yes, the development department, yes, what is the other? Silent department. Oh, exactly. The mo one of the most important departments, the sales department, the sales department, departamento de ventas, the sales department. What else? Don't, don't you have supervisors? Don't you have supervisors? Yeah, there, there are. Yeah. Yes, supervisors are very important in, a, in an organization chart, right? Because uh, below the managers, you have the, the supervisors, okay? Yes, yeah, so supervisors are important in a company, okay? Very good. So, uh, and we have maintenance, we have human resources, so we have different positions, okay? In an, in an organization chart. Sorry, Maria? Safety engineers. Can you repeat it, please? Safety engineers. Safe. We have safety engineers, depending on the company, right? Maybe in some companies, we don't have safety engineers. But in some companies, we have safety engineers, OK? Thank you very much. All right. Um, last question. Last question. I remember, I remember we started a topic in which we use ING after prepositions, okay? Do you remember that? 
past participle? Um, no, we use ing in the verb after prepositions. Like for example, I am responsible for cleaning the offices in the company. I am responsible for cleaning the offices in the company, okay? You have responsible for, dedicated to, Cuando, committed to, yes, Amber? Cuando finalicen consonante. When we finish, okay, when we, the, 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 the question is, okay, or the, 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 the idea is when you have a preposition, the verb next to the preposition has ing. For example, you say the preposition is for, and you say, I am responsible for cleaning. So cleaning is with ing, back on ENG, cleaning. That verb is with ing, okay? So you say dedicated, dedicated to. I am dedicated to doing something, okay? Yes, Maria? Who is in charge of assisting person? Exactly, I am in charge of assisting with ING. I am in charge of assisting purchases. Exactly, okay, that's right. So we have committed to, right? Do you remember what is committed to? What is committed to? Dedicated Compromet to? Comprometido. Right. Comprometido con, exactly, or comprometido a. For example, you can say, I am committed to doing my best in the company, to doing. So the verb is with ing. So let's see, um, Frida, what are you, what are you responsible for in your company? I am responsible for, ¿cómo se dice la consulta? Consultas. Pero consultas about what? About patients? Ah. Okay, maybe you can say in general, I am responsible for attending patients, for a, para de atender pacientes, for attending patients. And um, checking emails, um, ha, uh, write reports. Um, oh, okay, hold on. You say write or writing reports? Write, write or writing? Writing, writing, writing because you say. Reports, oh, okay. advice in um, the personnel of the, of the clinic. Oh, interesting. Okay, thank you, Frida. That's very, that's very good. Jacqueline Gloribel, what are you responsible for in your company, Gloribel? I am writing to report. Okay, okay. I am responsible for writing. Okay, do it again, please. Repeat it. I am responsible for, for writing, writing, reports. writing reports. Okay, that's excellent. Okay, what about you, uh, Dinora? What are you responsible for in the company? I am responsible for importing the products nice. from USA. Excellent. Ana Beatriz, what are you responsible for? Uh, I am responsible for writing reports. Uh, I am responsible for checking other dates. Nice, that's excellent. Now, the next question is, what are you in charge of? De que están a cargo? What are you in charge of? For example, I can say, in my case, right, because I am a teacher, I am responsible of giving a class, giving. I, I am sorry, I am in charge of giving a class. I am in charge of checking homework. I am in charge of attending students. What about you? What are you in charge of? Galileo? Teacher, I am in charge of, of, of uh, supply chain. How? Supply chain. Supply of the supply chains. Okay, that's very good. Excellent. Uh, you can use, the idea is to use a verb with ing, okay? La idea es usar un verbo con ing después de on, okay? Uh, what about you, um, Rocio? What are you in charge of in your company? Uh, I'm in charge um, 
the central logistic distribution. Uh, I'm supervising the, the all the agencies uh, a nivel nacional. Uh, ¿Cómo lo, lo puedo decir? You can say I am in charge of, uh, you said supervising, right? <clears throat> Eh, yes, eh, bueno, yo soy jefe de Agencia Central San Salvador y estoy supervisando agencias a nivel nacional. Ah, then, then you can say I am in charge of supervising agencies, agencies around the country. Agencies. Agencies around okay. the country. Around the country. But the most important here is to say I am in charge of supervising. Supervising. Supervising agencies around the country, like around the country, all over the country, okay. you can say, okay? Around the okay. country or all over the country, okay? Very good. Um, all over the country, you can say too. You can say that okay. too. Yes. Okay, let's see, uh, Abigail. Abigail, what are you in charge of in your company? Um, my responsibility at the line. Okay, okay, no, no, okay, listen to me, let's, let's restructure. You say, I am in charge of attending clients. Ah, okay. Repeat it. I am charge, I am in charge of attending of attending clients. Check emails, mail calls to clients. The, um prepare technical reports. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you, Abigail. So, uh, just to refresh, solo para refrescar un poquito, just to refresh. Remember, you can say, I am in charge of selling products, for example, selling with ING, uh, or I am responsible for arranging meetings, or I am dedicated to improving the sales of the company, or I am committed to um, making my company a better place, okay? Yeah, so the idea is to use ING after these prepositions with the verbs. La idea es que después de las preposiciones for, to, of, el verbo va con ING, okay? Yeah, all right, so, uh, it, that was just to remember, that was just to remember. Eso era solo para refrescar un poquito y recordar, just to remember a little bit, okay? I feel this is very important because I know you work a lot, then you go to the weekend, and then you forget about the class sometimes, so it's important to refresh. Es importante como recordar, it's important to refresh, okay? Very good. Now let's go to today's class. And the unit for this week is socializing. Socializing. What is socializing? Socializing. I. What is socializing? And talk. Is to and talk with other people. Is to talk with other people. So the question is: Are you sociable? Are you? All of you, are you sociable or you are not sociable? A little bit. <laughs> a little, a little bit. Okay, Jose Galileo says a little bit, okay? Uh, what about you, Jacqueline Gloribel? Are you sociable? Gloribel? Not. Are you, are you sociable? Not. Okay, you, you can say, no, I'm not. Okay, no, I'm not. What about you, Oscar Arnulfo? Are you sociable? Uh, more or less. More or less. You can say a little too. Okay, a little sociable. Uh, Christian Lasso, are you sociable? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So so. Social. Ah, uh, you are a little sociable. Uh, what about you, Frida? Are you sociable? I try to be a social. social. <laughs> you, you try to be sociable. Okay, that's perfect. What about you, Maria? Are you sociable? Yes, Omar. Yes, very much. Yeah, I can see that. What about you, Omar? Omar Francisco, are you sociable? So, so. So, so, a little. All right. So, remember, uh, we have different people, right? And in a group, in a group, 
We have different people. We have sociable people. And in the companies in general, in the companies, we have sociable people and we have shy people. Shy. What is shy? What is shy? I don't, I don't know. Spelling, please. Shy. What is shy? So in the company, we have sociable people and shy people. Is it, I, I remember. Is, what is, it? is the people who are timid. Ah, timid, timid, right? Yeah. So we have, we have shy people, okay, in companies. It's okay, no problem, okay? So shy people are very intelligent. That's what I know. Shy people are very intelligent. And sociable, we have different, different competences, right? But shy people are characterized by being very intelligent, okay? Very good. So I am saying this because, uh, as I said, uh, the unit for today is, um, or the name of this unit is uh, socializing. And you can see it here, I think, okay? Socializing. Socializing is socializing, okay? Socializing. Then we have some questions in the first activity. Question number one, do you often attend seminars? Okay, don't tell me, like, you say, oh, yes, I do, okay? Often is a menudo, right? Do you often attend or go to seminars? Second question, is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Like, is it easy for you to communicate or to speak with other people in these events or at those events? Next question. You say, yes, it is or no, it isn't, right? Next question. How do you usually break the ice? What is, how do you usually break the ice? What does this mean? How do you usually break the ice? What does it mean? Como usualmente rompemos el hielo. Exactly. How do you usually break the ice? Como, como rompes el hielo? Maybe you can say, oh, I say hello. Or I say, hey, good morning, what's your name? Or I say, hey, where do you live? Or, hey, come here, sit down next to me, let's talk. How do you break the ice? Como rompen el hielo? How do you break or, the ice? Or, or I know you, but I don't remember. <laughs> uh, that, that, that's, a good, that's a good strategy. I like that one. I know you. I know you, but... I don't know from where, no sé de dónde, but I know you, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a good way, Galileo. So, three questions. Question number one, do you usually, uh, I mean, do you often attend seminars? You say, yes, I do, no, I don't. Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? You say, oh, yes, it is, or no, it isn't. And the last question, how do you break the ice? Personal questions, okay, preguntas personales. So these questions are on page 19. Estas preguntas están en la página 19. Pero si no lo tienen, hagan una captura de pantalla. Make a screenshot. Okay? If you don't have the questions, make a screenshot. Si no tienen las preguntas, hagan una captura. Make a screenshot, please. Ready? ¿Listos? Okay. Uh, let's take... Uh, like three minutes and answer the questions, please. Let's take three minutes and answer the questions. What page teacher is? Uh, this exercise is on page 19, exercise one. Page 19, activity one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In question number one and two, you, you say yes or no, right? Okay. In number one, yes, I do or no, I don't. In, in question number two, yes, it is or no, it isn't. In question number three, ah, it's an open question. Es una pregunta abierta. So please answer. How do you break the ice? Maybe you can say, oh, I say hello. And I continue talking with the person. Or I say, hey, good morning, how are you? 
and you continue talking with the person, okay? Or maybe as uh, Galileo said, you say, I know you, I know you, okay? I think I saw you in San Salvador. <laughs> Uh, just don't forget to have your cameras on. Que no se les olvide siempre que las. Que no se les olvide siempre que las cámaras deben estar encendidas. Please don't forget, okay? Unless you are working with the material. Al menos que estén trabajando y por eso no pueden encender la cámara. Unless that is happening, okay? So, hello, Juan Carlos Alas. Juan Carlos Alas, are you there? Okay. Eh, creo que va en el bus, teacher. Yo, eh, salimos casi al mismo tiempo. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for letting me know. So please, uh, when you finish, uh, raise your hand. Go to reactions and raise your hand when you finish, please, okay? Oh, thank you, Maria Elena finished, okay? So please, when you finish, go to reactions and raise your hand, okay? Ana Beatriz finished too, thank you. Galileo too. <clears throat> So just repeat. Sure. Yes. ¿Cómo se puede hablar cualquier tema? Sorry? Sí, hablar de cualquier tema. Hablar de cualquier tema. Hablar de cualquier tema. Cuando dice este. How do you break the ice? Cuando uno. El hielo dice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe you can say because it's personal, right? Maybe es you que can se say. Queda pausa. Jacqueline, maybe uh, you can say. I speak about different topics. I speak about different topics. I speak. 
No sé si es mi internet o qué, pero lo escucho bien entrecortado y pausado. Like this, Jacqueline. I speak about different topics. Hablo Hola. De, hablo de diferentes temas. I speak about different topics. Ok. Ahorita no. Ok. Different. Gracias. Ok. Thank you. Ok, no problem. Okay, so please don't forget, when you finish, raise your hand on reactions, please. So I see who is getting this work over. So if you finish, please raise your hand. Thank you, Oscar Lufo. Thank you, Dinora. Thank you, uh, Gloribel Wells. Thank you, Omar Francisco. So what about you, Amber? Are you working? Tengo problemas con la compu, teacher. Estoy viendo cómo solucionarlo, lo siento. Ok, ok. Oh, Jacqueline García finished. Ok, so Jacqueline, please go to reactions and raise your hand. Ok, oh, there you go. Thank you. Ok, one minute. Un minuto, un minuto más, one more minute. Okay, so uh, the pronunciation of the questions is question number one, do you often attend seminars? Do you often attend seminars? Question number two, is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Next question, how often, I mean, how do you usually break the ice? How do you usually break the ice? Okay, so this is the pronunciation of the questions. Now, uh, I gave you the minutes. So in this moment, uh, I will give you like three minutes, okay? So in three minutes, we will go to breakout rooms. And in the breakout rooms, practice the questions, okay? Take turns, tomen turnos, take turns to practice the questions, okay? So I don't know, Omar, do you have any question? I can see you are like raising your hand. Omar Francisco, no. Do you have any question, Omar Francisco, no? No, okay, very good. So let's go to breakout rooms and let's practice the questions. So please take turns, tome turnos, take turns, okay? So let's go and practice. Vamos a practicar, let's go and practice. Can you start, please? Hello. Nora. Hola, hola, hola. Hola, Nelson. No sé si me... Hola, no sé si me escuchan porque yo casi no, no escucho por la lluvia. Yeah, we can hear you, but it's not clear. No te escuchamos muy bien, cortado, pero... Dinora, eh, Gloribel y luego Nelson para repetir las preguntas y practicarlas. Go ahead, Dinora, please. Um, do you often attend seminars? No, I don't. It is easy for you to socialize at those events? Yes, sometimes. How do you usually break okay. the ice? Uh, I just say, hi, how are you? Okay, I think the teacher said uh, just only the question. It's right, teacher? 
No, no, maybe what, what you can do is that maybe uh, somebody can ask Dinora the questions and she answers, right? And maybe Dinora can ask Nelson and Nelson can ask Gloribel and Gloribel okay. can ask Galileo, okay? So, but uh, maybe, maybe the idea is that uh, somebody else ask the questions to you. Yeah, that's the idea. So maybe uh, Galileo, you can ask Dinora the questions and then Dinora asks Nelson. And Nelson asks Gloribel, and Gloribel asks you. Okay, Galileo? Yeah? Okay, in order. All right. In seminars? No, I don't. Is, is, it, easy, is it easy for you to, to socialize, socialize. socialize at those events? Yes, yeah, sometimes. How do you usually break the ice? I just say, hi, how are you? Okay, ask to Nelson. Nelson, do you often attend seminars? Nelson, can you hear? Can yes, you hear I, us, Nelson? Yes, I do. Okay. Go ahead. It is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Uh, uh, yes, I was. How do you do? You usually break the ice. Yes, uh, depending topic. Okay. Thank you, Nelson. Okay. Um, I'm going Oh, Maria Elena, do you often attend seminar? Yes, I do. It is easy for you the socialization uh, to events? Yes, it is. How do you usually break in the eyes and more friendly to talk to each other? Um, depends. If I know, I say, for example, um, hi, do you remember me? It's me, Guadalupe. Or, nice to meet you. My name is Guadalupe. <laughs> All right. Thank <laughs> you. Um, do you often attend seminars, Frida? Yes, I often attend seminars. Is it easy for you? Yes, it's easy for me to specialize at those events. You usually break the ice, make people more friendly to talk to each other. Well, and people know that I am a doctor. They come to ask questions about their health. Um, but I prefer to talk about the other topics. Okay. No. Empezamos otra vez. I never attend seminars. Okay. Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? No, but for me it's very hard to socialize. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do you usually bread? Uh, I say, hello, how are you? How do you do? Only. 
Ok, excelente. Me cuesta, me cuesta socializar. Yes. <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe you can say, I'm not so talkative. I'm not so talkative. Like, ah, no soy tan hablando. No, no, no. I'm tan parlanchín. I'm not so talkative. Yes. Me too, me too. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I feel that Oscar Nulfo is very talkative. I think he's very sociable. No, no, no. 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 Okay. Uh, I, I pay, ¿cómo se dice confianza? Ah, confidence. I confidence with the people, but, but I talk with every people. Ah, okay, I see. <laughs> okay, did you finish? Yes. 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 Oh, okay, perfect. Let's go back then. Okay. Gracias, compañeros. Uh, okay, perfect. So, uh, thank you for sharing, okay, about the, the questions. Thank you for speaking about the, the questions. Okay, so in these questions, uh, is basically to know if you are sociable, okay? Uh, now I have another question, okay? What is the difference between sociable and talkative? What is the difference between sociable and talkative? I don't know the second word. Talkative. The social like with respect. Chachalaco. Yes. yes, a talkative person is a person who speaks a lot, who speaks too much. <laughs> That's talkative, okay? So uh, maybe, maybe you, I don't know if you know somebody who is very talkative. Do you know a person who is talkative? Yeah, yeah. I know. Yes. And, yeah. <laughs> I imagine. My daughter. Yes, basically sociable is like, you are very sociable, right? You speak but, but you let the others speak, the, you let the others speak too. But when you are talkative, you speak too much. You speak and you don't give the chance to the others to speak very much. So you talk too much, okay? So that's talkative, so it's talkative. Let me write it there for are, you. There are some people that uh, don't let me talk. <laughs> we, we say in Spanish, no prestar la guitarra, right? Uh, exactly. <laughs> This is the word. Esta es la palabra. This is the word. Talkative. It's parlanchín. Talkative. Or hablantín, we say, right? Talkative. Okay. Now, um, just maybe I, I was like uh, listening to you in the different groups, and I heard that you have some problems in the pronunciation of two words, okay? So the first word is um, this. The pronunciation of this word is event, 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 okay? And the pronunciation of this word is sociable, sociable, sociable. So event, sociable, event, sociable, all right? Event and sociable. Okay, so um. Thank you very much for your participations in this activity. And now let's go to the other activity. So listen, uh, in the next activity, I think it's very predictable. Uh, we have a conversation, okay? This conversation takes place at a seminar. It's a conversation in a seminar, okay? So please take a moment and read the conversation. And I will ask you questions later. I will ask the direct questions, okay?
Okay, are you ready? Okay, let me stop sharing. So now please, I have some questions about the conversation, okay? So uh, if you have the answer, if you have the answer for my questions, please go to reactions and raise your hand. Again, if you have the answer to my questions, go to reactions and raise your hand, okay? Question number one, question number one. Who, who breaks the ice? Who breaks the ice? Who breaks the ice? ¿Quién rompe el hielo? Okay, Dinora. So Dinora, Dinora raise the hand first. Okay, Dinora, who breaks the ice in the conversation? Rick. Rick is correct. Rick breaks the ice. He starts the conversation. Question number two. So if you know the answer, please raise your hand, okay? The first participant to raise the hand will answer the question. So let me see. Um, which company are the two speakers talking about? Okay, so I think Frida has the answer. Okay, so the question is, which company are the two speakers talking about? Okay, Frida? Inex Inc. Inex Inc, that's the company, that's right, Inex Inc. Okay, next question. Um, talking about Inex, right, because Inex is the company. Uh, what does Inex manufacture? What does Inex manufacture? Okay, the question is, what does, okay, Christian Lasso. Christian Lasso, do you have the answer? Yes. Okay, what does Inex manufactures? Inex manufacture cardboard boxes for Excellent. packing company. Yes, for packaging companies, cardboard boxes. And what is that? What is cardboard boxes? Anyone? Alguien que sepa? Anyone who knows? Cardboard boxes. What is that? What does it mean? Okay, let's see, Rocio. What does cardboard boxes mean? Sorry? Can you repeat? Mm -hmm. Es como la me, no sé, en algunos lugares he escuchado cuando dicen como la por, que es la memoria de un teléfono, de una, de una computadora. Kind of, kind of. Anyone else? ¿Alguien más? Sí, sí. Yes, ok, le sigo Omar Francisco. Cajas de cartón. Cajas de cartón. Cardboard boxes are cajas de cartón. Ok, and it says for packaging, para empacar. So cardboard boxes are cajas de cartón, cardboard boxes. Ok, good. Thank you very much, Omar Francisco. Next question. So please, Rocío and Frida, can you lower your hand? Uh, Frida and Rocío, lower your hand, please. Ok, next question. Um, let me see. Does Inex, the company, right? The same company. That's, does Inex have uh, other branches? Oscar Arnulfo. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. Okay, no, Oscar. Okay. The question is Does Enix have different branches? Different branches? Proceed. Oh, okay, yes, Oscar. We... Oh, yeah. Okay, Rocio, go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, yes, they have. Um... Three branches. They have three branches. And what is branch? What is this? Sede, sucursales, sucursales. Sede, sede, sucursales, mm -hmm. different branches. Good. Uh, like, for example, Simán. Simán has different branches in El Salvador. It has branches in San Salvador, in San Miguel, I think in Santa Ana, I don't know. Okay, so it has different branches, okay? Or super selectos. Super Selectos has different branches, okay? Different branches, different sedes, or sucursales, different branches. Very good, thank you. So you said three branches, right? Three branches, okay? And the last question. Uh, where are Inex headquarters? Where are, where, don't they, right? Where are Inex headquarters? Okay, let's see. Um, where are Inex headquarters? They're in Panama. They're in Panama. That's right. Thank you very much, Frida. So they're in Panama. Now, now check this out. 
here we have uh, a difference, right? We have a difference between, we have a difference between uh, headquarters and branch. Or we have the definition between headquarters and branch. And it says, headquarters is the place where a company or organization has its main offices. For example, Citibank or Banco Cuscatlan, the headquarters of Citibank are in San Salvador or the main offices, okay? Las oficinas principales, the main offices, okay? Uh, do you know where um, are the main offices or the headquarters of Siman? Where are the headquarters of Siman? Any idea? Where are the headquarters of Siman? San Salvador. I think in San Salvador. I, I'm not sure. Okay, I think in San Salvador. Okay. So, do you know any other company which has the headquarters in San Salvador? Grupo Roble. Grupo Roble, exactly. So, Grupo Roble has the headquarters in San Salvador. Headquarters is like the main offices, la central, decimos nosotros, right? Yeah. La sede central. So, any other company? Grupo Poma. Poma. Grup, Grupo Poma. Grupo Poma has the headquarters in San Salvador. So, headquarters are the main offices. Now, let's see the other word. The other word is um, branch. And branch is a shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area, a branch, right? It's a branch, una sede, una sucursal, okay? Very good. So this is just to, to see, okay? Some definitions about headquarters and branch, okay? Now let's go to the next part. Now look, here it says, right? Okay, let me, let me minimize this. It says, what two questions would you ask Rick to continue the conversation? The, 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 the unit is about socializing, okay? The unit is about socializing. So if you look at the conversation again, if you look at the conversation again, Jack is speaking with Rick, right? Now, what is the question here? Ah, the question here is, um, what two questions would you ask Rick to continue the conversation, okay? The idea is that you continue the conversation with Rick. What two questions would you ask? ¿Qué otras dos preguntas le harían a Rick? So take a moment, please, and write two more questions for Rick. Take a moment and write two more questions for Rick, okay? Go ahead. You need to write two more questions that you would ask Rick, okay? Van a pensar en dos preguntas más que le harían a Rick to continue the conversation, para continuar la conversación, okay? Two more questions. Mm -hmm. We have questions about the headquarters and questions about the branches, okay? So what other questions would you ask Rick? ¿Qué otras preguntas le harían a Rick to continue the talk, para continuar la plática, to continue with the talk? And write the questions. Escriben las preguntas. Write the questions, please. And teacher, we yeah. guess the conversation is in El Salvador, right? Yes. Okay. Um, in the meantime, I will, I will go past in the attendance. Mientras están trabajando, les voy a pasar asistencia. I will pass in the attendance, okay? Um, Alejandro Antonio. Ana Abigail. I am here. Ana Beatriz. Present. Cristian Ernesto. Present teacher. All right, Ember. I'm here. Frida. I'm here teacher. All right, Jacqueline said. I'm here. Good. Juan Carlos Alas. I'm here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I put you the attendance, Jacqueline, it's okay. Juan Carlos Salas. Juan Carlos Rivas. I'm here. 
Ok. ¿Lo oí de Unice? She was connected, right? I don't know what happened. Ok, let's see, María Elena. Present. Ok, Mauricio Antonio. Nelson. Present. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Oscar Ernesto. Rocío. Present. Yo que, ja, per, sorry, Jacqueline Glor Gloribel. Gloribel, sorry, Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Uh, Jocelyn Joana. Yesenia Marisol. Present. Ok, thank you. José Galileo. Present, teacher. And Dinora. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Are you ready with the two questions? Are you ready? Not yet. Aún no? Not ready? Oh, Oscar Nulfo is ready. Okay. Thank you for raising hands, Oscar. Thank you, Rocio is ready too. Thank you for raising hands, Rocio. Ana Beatriz too. Okay, one minute and we continue because we have more activities to cover. So I give you one more minute and we continue then. Oh, Jose Galileo finished too. Thank you very much for raising your hand, Galileo. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, what is correct? Where do you work? Or where do you business? Or where do you company? What do you mean first? What do you mean? Yo quiero preguntarle, este, dónde, ¿cuál es su empresa o, o cuál es su compañía? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es correcto preguntar? What is your business or what is your company? Ah, ¿Cuál es tu compañía? Uh -huh. I think it's better if you say, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work, yeah. Where do you work? Thank you. Okay, and what do you do too, right? ¿Qué haces ahí? What do you do, okay? Where do you work and what do you do? So you can have two questions in one. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so are you ready? Ready? If you have one question, that's okay, no problem, okay? Or in the meantime, maybe um, 
while others give their questions, uh, maybe you can finish your questions, okay? Good. So let's listen to Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz, what other questions would you ask Rick? Uh, one is how old is the company? Oh, nice. Uh, employees know the values on the company? Oh, do the employees know the values of the company? I like that question. Thank you, Ana Beatriz. What about you, Oscar Arnulfo? Uh, what other questions would you ask Rick? How do you may offer, how do you may attend a different branches? Can you repeat the question, please? How do you make a thing at different branches? How do you make? ¿Cómo le hace para tener las diferentes atent? Ah. ¿Cómo le hace para? Maybe, maybe you, you don't have to say make, Oscar Lufa. Maybe you say directly. How do you attend? How do you attend the, the, all the branches? How do you attend all the branches? No, 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 no. Okay. okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's listen to Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos Rivas, uh, what would you ask Rick? Or which other questions would you ask Rick? Where are the other branches? Nice. Only one question. Only one. Okay, perfect. Uh, what about you, Abigail? Which other questions would you ask Rick? Um, since when are you on the Salvador branches? Maybe you can say since when are your branches in El Salvador? Since when oh. are your branches in El Salvador? Okay. El Salvador. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. What about you, um, Jocelyn? No, Jocelyn has just she just got connected. Uh, what about you? Let me see. Um, Jeseni, which other questions would you ask Rick? Um, I am where are the branches? Where are the branches? Okay. Where are the branches? And? Um, El Salvador, por ejemplo. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's only one question. It's only one question. Sí. Yes. Where are the branches? Solo una. Okay, what about you, Amber? So which other uh, questions would you ask Rick? Um, what do you do in your workplace? Yeah. And in which area do you work? Excellent, okay. Good questions to continue with the conversation. What about you, Rocio Lourdes? Um, yo entendí diferente. Mm, okay, go ahead. Porque el trabajo del que están hablando es el de Jack, no el de Rick. Okay. Según la conversación. Entonces, lo que yo le preguntaría a Rick es, eh, where do you work? And, and what is your job? Oh, and, and yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. No, no, the questions are okay. I mean, where do you work in? What is your job? What is your occupation there? Okay. Uh, it's okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Lourdes. Okay. Thank you everybody for sharing. Okay. Your, your questions for, for Rick. Okay. So I think it's time to take the short break. Okay. Creo que es hora de tomar el pequeño receso. Okay. Pero por favor, please, 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 before you go. Algunos regresan después de tres minutos. Okay. La idea es de este espacio es darle solamente dos minutos para que ustedes vayan y se apresuren a hacer algo, pero no nos podemos tomar más de dos minutos, ¿ok? Así que, por favor, les doy los dos minutos, pero regresen en los dos minutos, por favor, ¿ok? Yeah. ¿Ya? Uh, I need to restart my computer. Ya, yeah, it's ok. Do it on these two minutes. Lo puedes hacer en estos, en estos dos minutos y luego te conectas rápidamente, ¿ok? Ok, okay let's take the two minutes. Tomemos los dos minutos. Let's take the two minutes.
We have 10 seconds. Tenemos 10 segundos. We have 10 seconds. So please come back. Regresemos, por favor. Let's come back, please. Come back. Okay, so time is over. Okay, uh, thank you very much for being on time. Gracias por regresar a tiempo. Thank you for being on time. Very good. So listen, uh, for this next part, I want you to help me uh, work or complete this activity, okay, let me show you. So on this activity, uh, this is basically, this is on page uh, 19, at the end of page 19. So what do we have to do here? ¿Qué debemos hacer? What do we have to do? So we need to complete on these spaces with a company which has different branches. For example, in here, you have the number of branches. And where are the headquarters, okay? Can you tell me one company, please, which has different branches? And where are the headquarters? Can you tell me, please? Let's do this together. Hagamos esto juntos. Let's do this together. Omar, I don't know if you are raising hands. Um, Omar, are you raising hands? Hi, Omar Francisco. Hi, sí, estoy pensando Real Intercontinental. Okay, uh, Real, the company is Real Intercontinental. Okay, Real Intercontinental. I think with capital letters, okay? Intercontinental. Okay, so uh, how many branches? Approximately, aproximadamente. How many branches, approximately? How many branches? Quantas sedes? How many branches? Give me an approximation. Una aproximación, an approximation. Teacher, all, yes? All, only country. Sorry? All the world or only country? Um, may, it depends, right? If the company has uh, branches around the world, maybe you, you, you can say it. It's okay, no problem. Maybe you can say uh, Burger King. And Burger King has branches around the world. Maybe you can say branches because it's hard to say, right? Maybe you can say branches and you say around, around the world. Headquarters, maybe you can say the United States, the USA. Okay, it's possible, okay? It's possible, so can you tell me one, please? Bien me una, tell me one, please. Papa John's Pizza. Oh, okay, okay, let's say Papa John's, okay, thank you. Uh, Papa John's, uh, how many branches? 40 branches. 40, 40 branches, okay, take 40. notes, please. Notes. Los demás pueden tomar notas. 40 branches, headquarters? Where are the headquarters? Uh, San Salvador. In San Salvador, the headquarters are in yeah. San Salvador, or the main offices, las oficinas principales. Okay, good. So another one, otra. Prado. Prado. Okay, Prado. let's say. <laughs> ah, you are advertising, <laughs> right? Do you work at Prado? <laughs> so Prado, how many branches, Juan Carlos? Fifty-one. Fifty-one branches for Prado. Uh, where are the headquarters? San Salvador. The headquarters are in San Salvador. Good. And the last one, veamos la última. Let's see the last one. Super selectos. Super selectos. Super selectos. Okay. So we are doing this good together. Si tienen el manual, pueden ir completando si lo tienen en físico. If you have it in physical, okay? How many branches for super selectos? 99. 90. 102. Oh, okay. You said 102. Okay, so let's raise this. 102. Where are the headquarters? 
San Salvador. In San Salvador. Okay, the same in San Salvador. Okay, so uh, so basically we have in El Salvador we have different companies which have many branches, which have many branches, and the headquarters are in San Salvador. Okay, yeah, good. So did you complete? Completaron? Did you complete? Or you didn't complete? <laughs> Okay, so it's time to work in teams. It's time to work in teams. So in this activity, we have here we have some. Um, let me let me get the the pencil. So basically, on this space, okay, we have some products or services. Okay, some products or services to the. Okay, so what we need to do is that we need to match these with the corresponding industry, industry type. For example, banks. For banks, what is the corresponding industry type for banks? Can you help the me finance. please? Sorry? The finance. Literal e. Ah, exactly. Finance. So it's, it's number, number one is here. The finance industry, okay? And then you have to continue with the others. Deben continuar con las demás. So this is on page 20. Eso está en la página 20. This is on page 20. But for this, we will work in teams. Vamos a trabajar en equipos. So I think it's okay if you work in pairs. Para que trabajen más y para que piensen más, vamos a trabajar en parejas. You will work in pairs, okay? So let's go to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Let's go to work in pairs. Ready? Listos? Let's go. I think Frida is in the bus, right, Maria? Uh, Frida is driving. Yes, so I will send Juan Carlos with you. Juan Carlos is alone, okay? Ah, okay. Welcome, Juan Carlos. <laughs> hey, may I have a solo? Yeah. Hi, Juan Carlos. Yes. We, we, were, we were looking for a group for you, and Maria is alone here, so you can work with Maria. Ah, uh, okay. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead. Um, the first in the list is fun. And I think so is the E, the finance industry. It's number one, banks. Number yes. two. Yes. Number two. How do we say it? Al revés. La G en la... El número tiene que ir en la columna, ¿verdad? Yes. The, the, the number next to the industry. Okay. Yes. Number two. Entonces a la letra A le corresponde el nueve. Hair salon service. Beautiful. Yes. Good night. En la letra B le corresponde el 5. 
will be present the construction industry. And uh, in a C, number 10. Let's see. Clock. In the telecommunication mobile phones, mobile phones six. six. One is E and mm. F, the automotive, oh. automotive feature, automotive or automotive feature, the mic. Hold on, in which one? Okay. Uh, the automotive, automotive. In which yeah, number? Is, uh, F. Letter, letter F. F. Oh, the autom uh -huh, the, autom the automotive, the automotive industry. Automotive, the automotive, the automotive, automotive industry. Automotive. automotive industry. Okay. It's number eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Y aquí es the package. Packaging. Packaging. Pack packaging. It's number four. Car box. The beverage industry. I don't know who is It's beverage. number two. Soft drinks. Tourings. The tourings tur industry. Tourists. Tourism. 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 Exactly. Tourism is the pronunciation. La M se pronuncia al final entonces. Yes. Tourism. You say tourism. 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 Yeah. Industry. Industry. Yeah. It's number. It's number three. 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 Yes. Guided tours. Teacher. In number. Seven. In number three. Guided tours. Guided. You say guided. 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 Guided tours. Yeah. Okay. In numbers. In J. Letter J. Is the seven. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's finished. Oh, you're so quick. Sí, me dejó solo, teacher. Solo You working alone? Sí. Are you working alone, no. Oscar? No, Dinora. Huh? Te dio permiso, no hay problema. Ah, okay, okay. It's okay. So, did you finish? Terminaron? Yes, yes. Ah, yes. okay, perfect. So, we'll move in one minute then. Okay, just let me check the other groups. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Hello. Uh, pronunciation is uh, yeah. the packing industry. The packaging, the patch, the packet, the packaging industry, the packaging industry. Y la otra de the beverage. Beverage. The beverage industry. Yo beverage. Porque it's, bebida is drink. Exactly. No, but beverage is okay too. In restaurants, beverage is very common. In, in restaurants, in vocabulary about restaurants, beverage is very common. Oh. Beverage. Yes, the pronunciation beverage. is beverage. 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 Exactly. Beverage. Did you finish the exercise? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go back then. So it's beverage, the pronunciation. Beverage. The beverage. Yeah. The toru, torus industry. Tur ah, tourism. 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 Tourism industry. The tourism industry. Beverage. Yeah. Porque está en el traductor me sale así. How? Beverage. Beverage. Mm -hmm. 
the ultimate teacher, the pharmacy pronunciation. Pharmaceutical industry. Pharmaceutical. The pharmaceutical industry. Pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical industry. Industry. Yes. Okay, uh, I guess everybody finished uh, the activity. I just, I was in some groups very quickly because the activity was very short. You finished very quickly, sooner than expected, más pronto del esperado. So listen, but uh, when I went to the groups, I noticed something. I noticed that uh, you had some problems in the pronunciation of the vocabulary, okay? So I could see that. Pude ver eso, I could see that. So before you share, we are going to do a pronunciation activity, okay, with this vocabulary. So let me share with you. Uh, let's do something quickly, okay? So um, I will give you the pronunciation, okay? And you repeat after me with the microphone off. Repetimos con el micrófono apagado, okay? First, we pronounce the products or the services, okay? One, two, three. And then we pronounce the industry track, the industry type, okay? So are you ready to pronounce? So with the microphone off, please, con el micrófono apagado, with the microphone off, okay? So let's pronounce first the, the products, okay? Or services. Let's start with number one, banks. Banks. Soft drinks. Soft drinks. Soft drinks. Number three, guided tours. Guided tours. Guided tours. Cardboard boxes. Cardboard boxes. Cardboard boxes. Buildings. Buildings, mobile phones, mobile phones, mobile phones, medicine, medicine, car components, car components. You don't say components, no, it's the pronunciation is components, okay? Car components, hair salon services, hair salon services. And number 10, clothes, clothes, okay? Now let's go to the uh, industry type. Okay, let's start with letter A. The beauty and personal care industry. The beauty and personal care industry. The construction industry. The construction industry. The textile industry. The textile industry. The telecommunications industry. The telecommunications industry. The finance industry. The finance industry. The automotive industry. The automotive industry. Automotive. 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 The packaging industry. The packaging industry. The beverage industry. Beverage, beverage, the beverage industry, the tourism industry, 
the tourism industry. Tourism. Tourism. It's like tourism. Tourism. Okay? Tourism. So I'm a Salvadoran teacher. <laughs> Pronounce it like in American accent, please. <laughs> Okay, the pronunciation is I will sound more American than Juan Carlos. Tourism. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh, tourism. No, but, but uh, no, 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 listen. Aquí, uh, maybe something important is that words ending in ism, algunas palabras en, en inglés que terminan en ism, siempre llevan ism, ism, tourism. Yes? Todas las palabras que terminan así llevan ese sonido, ism. Tourism, okay? There are many words. Hay algunas otras palabras, okay? Let's continue. Letter J, la letra J. The pharmaceutical industry. The pharmaceutical industry. Pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical industry. Okay, uh, now that you, uh, that we pronounced, it's time. Yeah, yeah, yes, Amber. Please repeat automotive. Automotive. Auto, auto, motive. Auto, motive. Auto, motive. Auto, motive. Thank you. All right. Okay, uh, now it's time to share. So, number one, banks is the finance industry, okay? The finance industry. Now let's see the other, okay? Soft drinks. Let's listen to uh, Amber. Soft drinks. Is uh, the letter H, the beverage industry. The beverage industry, yeah. that's excellent. Okay, so this one is the beverage industry. Very good. Let's see guided tours, Rocio. Guided, guided tours. The guided. Uh, uh, ay, la perdí. Perdón. It's okay. Guided tours. Guided tours. Um, the uh, tourism, tourism, tourism industry. Yes, exactly. It's the tourism industry for guided tourism. tours. Tourism, tourism industry. Industry. Okay, thank you, Rocio. So let's listen to Nelson. Uh, Nelson, what do you have in number four? Okay. Cardboard boxes. Cardboard boxes is a letter uh, uh, the packaging industry. Exactly. It's the packaging industry. Letter G. Thank you, Nelson. Okay, so uh, let's see. Now let's listen to Galileo. Galileo, what do you have for buildings? Number five. Letter B, the construction industry. Exactly, it's the construction industry. Thank you very much. Gloribel, what do you have for, media, for mobile phones? Letter D, yes, the communication, communication industry. Communications or telecommunications? The telecommunication. Okay, exactly. It's the telecommunications industry. Thank you, Glory Bell. Okay, Abigail, what do you have in number seven? Medicine. Uh, medicine, letter D. Yeah. The pharmaceutical industry. The pharmaceutical industry. Excellent. Okay, so that's medicine. That's very good. So uh, it's this one, right? The pharmaceutical industry. Car components. Okay, let's see, um, Christian Asso. Yes, teacher. Yes, car components. Car component. Is the pronunciation. <laughs> automotive. Yeah. Auto automotive. It's very, very difficult. I know. Automotive industry. That's right. The letter, letter F. Exactly. The automotive industry, letter F. Okay, thank you, Christian. 
Uh, let's see her salon services. Uh, Ana Beatriz. Is a the beautiful and personal care industry. Good, that's excellent. Is letter A. And the last one, clothes. Let's listen to um, Yesenia. The textile industry. The textile industry. The textile okay. industry. Excellent, that's very good. It's the textile industry. Excellent, okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you for sharing. Okay, thank you very much for sharing. And now let's go to the other activity. So look, pay attention here. You will work in groups, okay? So in this activity, using the information of the products and services, listen, using the information of the products and services and the industries, okay? The products and services and the industries, you will, usted the bank, you will, um, Oh, hold on, give me a second, give me un segundo. Uh, so using the, um, the products and services and the industry types, you will complete or you will write some sentences to describe the expertise and the industrial classification of these businesses, okay? What is expertise? What is expertise? Any idea? What is ex expertise? Experiencia. Experiencia, exactamente. Es experiencia. Expertise is experiencia. Very good. So, so look at look at number one. Refresh and leave. That's the first um, company. What is the description? At refresh and leave the company, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the beverage industry so here we have the industry aquí está la industria so the product and the industry okay how would you do number one como quedaría lo número dos how would number a number two look como quedaría la número dos using the product service and the industry how do you think number two would stay como quedaría la número dos how would number two stay at at fix at, at fix and care uh, yo la tengo distinta teacher ah, how do you have it como la tienes at higher salon service fix and care uh, the beauty the beauty in personal care industry yeah 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 I mean it's okay but first we mentioned the, the company, right? At Fix and Care, we distribute, we use distribute. What do they distribute at Fix and Care? What pro, which products, que productos? We distribute? Productos de belleza. Ah, okay. But what do you have in the, in the, in the, in the service above? Que tienen arriba? Personal care. Ah, maybe you can say it's a service, right? It's a service. Lo que dan es un servicio. It's a service. Then we can change the verb. Podemos cambiar el verbo. We can change the verb. What can we say? ¿Qué podemos decir en vez de distribute? Because it's a service. Es un servicio. Her salon services. What can we In say? Church. We provide. Ah, yes. You can say we provide. Okay, so don't say distribute, say we provide, we Services. provide what? Hair, hair, salon, and repair. <laughs> services, services, period. We are in what? What is the, the industry? We are in what? What is the industry? Tell me, please. The beauty, beauty and, and personal, personal care. care. We are in beauty and personal care industry. We are in the beauty, okay, in the beauty and personal care industry. So the most important, you say at, and you mention the, the company, okay? You have the company here. And then you say we and the service. 
or the product, okay? The service and the, or the product, okay? Luego el servicio y el producto. And finally, we are in, and then you say the, the industry, okay? Yes, estamos claros? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, then, then okay. What do you prefer? What do you prefer? Do you prefer to work alone or to work in teams for this activity? I will let's negotiate. Negociamos. What Same do you prefer? Team. Sorry. Same work. In teams. Teams. Okay, I will give you um, four minutes. Okay, so let's go to work in teams. Vamos a trabajar en equipos entonces. Let's go to work in teams. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Oscar Anulfo, did you receive the, we are going to work in teams. Okay. Hola, buenas. Buenas señores. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Vamos a ver. Enjoy and travel. Ya lo tiene Ember. Guided tours. Si ya la tenía hecha, ya, ya. Que nos dé copia. Síguela, síguela. Ok, ahí sería at Enjoy and travel in every country, ¿verdad? Podría decir. We are the tourist industry. Okay. Enjoy and travel. We para cambiar el verbo sería we offer. We offer. ¿Cómo se dice ofrecemos? Offer. 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 We offer uh, guided guided tours. Sí, está bien, ok. Ok, offer. The tourist industry. Thank you. Gracias. Ok. Next, business plan. Yeah. ¿Cómo sería la, la siguiente parte? We offer guided Finance tours. Industry. Guided tours. Ah. We ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Ahí me perdí. We sería, offer the tours. Ahí, ahí estaríamos uh -huh. diciendo en Engine Travel, we offer guided tours. Y para ver el, la industria sería... Um, ¿Qué? Por decir algo, para poner los mejores en la industria del turismo. The best, the, the best. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué sería, verdad? Sí. Can, you, uh, can you repeat, please? And repeat the, the example. At Enjoy and Travel, we offer guided tours. Yeah. We, we are the best in the tourist industry. But the, the thing is that here you have to, uh -huh. in the tourist industry, we are the best. Yes. Yeah, okay, you can say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, you can say it. Guided tour features. Son eh, viajes yes, turistas, turistas. Eh, guiados. Exactly. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's basically referred to tourism, right? 
guided tours is like tours uh, in which you need a person to guide you. That's uh, a guided tour, basically. That refers to a person, guided it's, tour. Uh, no, oh, it, it no. refers to the tour, to the tour. Ah, okay. But what, no, what he's person. saying, not the person, what he's saying is that the person is a tourist guide. Ah, okay. Tourist guide. Business bank. Bueno, entonces ese ya está, ¿verdad? Yeah. Business bank. Sería... Business bank is business bank. Negocios bancarios. Ajá, sería the finance industry, ¿no? Uh -huh. The finance industry. Y aquí se puede poner the Tener business bank. Mejores and... tasas de interés y mejores cuotas. Aunque siempre son mejores. <laughs> ok. At the Business finance industry. Finance. The sun resort at the sun resort. Uh, old, old. And, uh, places to rest in the different uh, actually say <laughs> in the different uh, visitas o tours tengo miedo es que no sé con beach, BH es que tengo miedo a la palabra uh, B -E -A playas en the different beaches así es verdad yeah. No vaya a ser que escriba la otra. <risa> well. okay, at the Sun Resort, we have a lot of places. A lot of places. A lot uh, of... Okay, yeah, just in number one, uh, the examples, um, they have to be, the, the verb has to be in present, right? So you say, at Enjoy and Travel, we provide. Omit the letter D. Okay, hay que, hay que quitarle la letra D porque los ejemplos son en pasado. We provide. Present. Okay. Yes. At the Sun Resort, we have a lot of places to rest in the very beaches of El Salvador. Very... Así sería entonces. Sí, ame. Estamos dando vía. Ya, ya, ya me confundí, ¿verdad? Sí. We. Eh, yeah. Can I help you? Can I help you? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sure. Yes, maybe what you have to change is the verb, right? Uh, it's okay. At enjoy and travel, we, you say we. We. And then uh, what is the, the product or service at enjoy and travel? Um, service. Yeah. Guided tours. Guided tours. Yeah. What verb can you use? ¿Qué verbo pueden usar? Guided tours son como tours guiados. We, eh, we, so, nosotros damos, okay? We, maybe, or maybe you can say proveemos. We pro provide, 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 uh -huh. at, at. no, provide, it's, uh, I, en vez de la letra E, letter, uh, provide, you say provide, we provide, provide, yes, we provide. Provide. Yeah, that's correct. Uh -huh. We provide, and then you say the, the product. We provide guided tours, okay? Maria? Then we. Uh, 
what is the the industry yeah the tourism industry ah then you say we are in the tourism industry we are in the tourism industry estamos en la industria de turismo we are in the tourism industry yeah yeah uh, thank you okay Ah, ok, entonces esta está mala. La primera. Mira la primera, teacher. A fix and personal care. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Está mala. Ya, yeah. what, is, what is the service? The protocol service. Fix and personal care. Beauty, beauty and. Harrison service. Harrison service. Ah, ok, then what verb can you use? ¿Qué verb podemos usar? Aquí se podemos decir, tal vez, we, we give, right? Damos, we give. We give. Hair salon services. Uh -huh. We give hair salon services. Uh -huh. Then we are in the, and then you say the industry. Uh -huh. The beauty. Uh -huh. And personal care industry. We are in the beauty and personal care industry, okay? okay. We, don't have, we don't have more time. Ya no tenemos mucho tiempo. So you can continue. Uh, if you don't finish, you can do it uh, alone afterwards, okay? Okay. No sé si le van a tomar captura a esto para... Y yeah, ahorita. Voy a quitar esto aquí. Ya lo están sacando. Ay, por Dios. Toma la captura de este y. Sí. Para otras dos. Hoy que ya entendimos. ¿Ya tú vas a hacer captura, Yesenia? Sí, ya le tomé captura y se la voy a comer. Ok, uh, so did everyone finish? Or you didn't finish? Yes, I was in um, Frida's group and I think they didn't finish, right? But maybe you can complete uh, this activity alone, okay? You can complete it afterwards because it's 10.05 already. Okay, time is over. Okay, so... Um, I think uh, we will share this activity tomorrow. You will share your answers tomorrow because we don't have more time. It's 10, 5 already. So it's time to go to sleep. It's time to go and complete today's activity, okay? So, uh, so everybody, thank you for connecting. Gracias por conectarse. Y gracias también por completar eh, las tareas de la semana pasada. La mayoría lo hicieron en un 90% completar unas actividades. So thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. And don't forget to advance beforehand. No olviden ir avanzando con tiempo para esta semana, ¿ok? So thank you, everybody. Ah, something else, algo más. Esta semana también tenemos el midterm test. Tenemos el examen medio, ¿ok? Así que también tomen en cuenta. Take it into account too, ¿ok? Que antes del día, igual, va de la misma manera. Así que la idea es que al menos antes del día, a más tardar el día lunes, perdón, ya esté completo ese examen. Pero si lo pueden terminar antes del viernes ya de una vez, it's perfect. Es perfecto, ¿ok? Eso sería perfecto. That would be perfect, ¿ok? So thank you very much for connecting. Good night. Take care. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow, good ¿ok? Night, María night. se queda nada más. María good Elena night. se queda. Ok. So good yeah, night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Creo que Jocelyn Joana se nos ha quedado conectada por ahí. Hi, Jocelyn Joana. Sí. Sí, se ha quedado, ¿verdad? Así ha estado, Ay, creo que solo sí. ha estado evidente. Uh -huh. Se le ha olvidado, creo. Think she forgot. Jocelyn Joana, are you there? O quizás está. Ajá, uh -huh. se debe haber quedado de oyente y no.
se le olvidó. Quizás dejó por ahí el, el gadget, el dispositivo. Ok, yeah, let's, let's do it then, María Elena. So this space is for you. I don't know if you have any question. Uh, de los benditos verbos. Me confunde cuando es con E, D, I, N, E. Ajá. Cuando es con E, D y cuando es con I, N, G. Pero, ok, ¿qué específicamente? El tiempo verbal, es decir, en el, el uso, en el... En el contexto o realmente cómo ponerle ING o cómo ponerle de al verbo, la regla. No, ¿cuándo lo, cuándo lo voy a poner con, en ese contexto? Ah, ok, it's, it's about the context, ok. ING me dijiste y ED, ¿verdad? Ok. Vaya. Uh, with ING, con ING, in, I think it was in module 2, creo que fue en el módulo 2. Hablamos de que el ING, pero... Vaya, pregunta. Con ING, pero estamos hablando de los después de preposiciones o para el tiempo verbal. Lo que estuvimos estudiando esos días. Lo de esos días, tiempo. Ah, ah, ok. Very good, muy bien. So, basically, básicamente, voy a compartir este pizarro. I will share screen right now. Um, let, me, let me share screen. Déjame, déjame compartirte rápidamente. Ok, so basically, básicamente, uh, we have prepositions, right? In English and in Spanish, of course, we have uh, prepositions. Tenemos lo que se llama preposiciones. We have uh, prepositions, ok? What is a preposition? ¿Qué es una preposición? Uh, prepositions are, for example, for, es una preposición, for. Uh, to is a preposition, ok? Um, ¿Qué más? In. Is a preposition. Of is a preposition, ¿ok? Todas estas son preposiciones. Uh, about también es una preposición. About is a preposition, ¿ok? Ya. Yeah. Uh, so, what we are saying, lo que hemos estado diciendo es que después de las preposiciones, si usamos un verbo, if we use a verb, ¿ok? A ese verbo le vamos a poner ing. Es una regla gramatical, ¿ok? Que le ponemos ing después de una preposición, después de for, to, in, of, or about, okay. for example. Or about. Ok, now let me give you one example. Using in, for example. Uh, I am, for example. Um, I am interested uh, interested In, aquí va la preposición in. Luego voy a poner el verbo learn. Learn is aprender, right? Le pongo uh -huh. ing. Uh -huh. I am interested in learning English. Ok. I am interested in learning English. Estoy interesado en aprender inglés. In is a preposition. Así que el verbo que le sigue tendría que ir con I. ING. ING, esta no cuenta, la primera. Esta de acá nada más. With ING, con ING. Mm -hmm. I am interested in learning English, ¿ok? Luego imagínate que usa la preposición um, about. Que significa acerca de. O en. In this case. So imagine, let me give you the example. I say. Oh my God. Let's see the example. Veamos un ejemplo. I am, I can say, or you are. I am thinking about, que es la preposición, estoy pensando en, en algo, ¿verdad? I am thinking about, um, then I say, um, going, aquí está el verbo, going, ok, la ING. Estoy pensando, estoy pensando en ir, I am thinking about going uh, to Santa Ana, for example. To Santa Ana on Friday, for example. I am thinking about going to Santa Ana on Friday. La preposición es about. Así que el verbo que le sigue va con ING. I am thinking about going to Santa Ana on Friday, ¿ok? Y así para las preposiciones que te mencioné. Teníamos la, pre la preposición, por ejemplo, responsible for. ¿Ok? La preposición responsible sería... For, ok. Y damos, damos el ejemplo. I am responsible for 
doing what? ¿De hacer qué? I am responsible for writing reports. Ah, responsible for, y ahora voy con la ING, for writing, aquí está la ING, mira. I am responsible for writing reports. Ok. Yeah. Yeah. Ok, ¿estamos? La regla es siempre, siempre, siempre que estén esas proposiciones, el verbo que va a seguir lleva siempre ING. Exactly. En tú sí debemos ser muy cuidadosos en la preposición tú. Ok. En la preposición tú. Ok. Lo vamos a usar. Para otra cosa o cómo. Correctamente. ¿Por qué? Normalmente lo vamos a usar cuando tenemos um, un verbo, ok, like this, un verbo, un adjetivo, perdón, con ed antes de la, del to. Por ejemplo, I am addicted to, or I am, ¿cuál otro puede ser el que habíamos visto? Ah, dedicated. Dedicated. Dedicated y el otro era committed, ¿verdad? Si te Ajá. fijas, terminan con ed los verbos estos, estos adjetivos, perdón. Okay, ¿no? Camille, ¿ok? Terminan con ED. Y luego, está, perdón, está el tú. Aquí en este caso, si llevan ING los verbos que van a seguir. Por ejemplo, I am addicted to listening to music. Listening, lleva ING. I am dedicated to... ¿Qué? Podría ser, estoy dedicado a qué. I am dedicated to... To making, por ejemplo, estoy dedicado a hacer. I am dedicated to making. Ese making lleva ING. O puede ser committed to, comprometido a. a, a, a o comprometido con. I am committed to giving, myself, giving my best, por ejemplo. Estoy comprometido a dar lo mejor. I am committed to giving. Ese giving lleva ING. ¿Ok? Ok. Ahora sí. Ya más claro. Ya más claro. Pero okay, perfecto. Creo que hay que seguir, como me decía en la, la primera vez, practicando, buscando. Exactly. Exactly. It's about practice. Pero siempre es después de las preposiciones. Mm -hmm. Exacto. I don't know if you have any other question. Esa es la, la, digamos, en estos días que me he estado dando la ah, okay. ok, perfect. So, if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask through chat, ok? Ok, um, ok, thank you, María Elena. If you have no more questions, then, no more questions? No. Ok. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Maria. Thank you very much for connecting. Uh, so, good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay, bye. Take care. You're welcome.